Qatar and Bahrain are all set to bury the hatchet and resume diplomatic ties. Five nations, including Qatar, push back on Syria re-entering the Arab League. China's Sinopec is the latest foreign entity to take a stake in Qatar's liquefied natural gas. And finally, PSG coach Christophe Galtier is under heavy fire for leaked racist remarks. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar and Bahrain will resume diplomatic ties two years after the region's worst political crisis came to an end. On Wednesday, the Bahraini Qatari follow-up committee held its second meeting where the decision was confirmed and announced. While Saudi Arabia, the UAE and Egypt restored ties with Qatar, Bahrain had hesitated for years, saying pending issues between the two still remained. However, news of the reconciliation has been widely welcomed with families between the two Gulf states saying they can finally reunite. Now, Qatar is among five Arab states who have made their view on Syria rejoining the Arab League clear. This is according to the Wall Street Journal, which also named Kuwait, Morocco, Yemen and Egypt as the camp refusing to readmit the Assad regime into the bloc. Syria was ousted from the Arab League in 2011 due to a violent crackdown on pro-democracy protesters by the Bashar al-Assad regime. The report comes as Saudi Arabia has scheduled a meeting in Jeddah on Friday to look at whether Syria can make a return to the bloc ahead of this year's summit. Now, China's Sinopec, a petroleum refinery, Refinery company is ready to take a stake in the eastern expansion of Qatar's North Field liquefied natural gas project. The state-owned Chinese gas giant will take a 5% stake in one train at North Field East, with a capacity of 8 million tons per year. This marks the first time China has directly invested in Qatari gas. And finally, Paris Saint-Germain coach Christophe Gaultier is under heavy fire for alleged racist and Islamophobic remarks that have been leaked to the media. In an email leaked by former team Nice, the coach at the time said says he can't have so many black and Muslim players on the team as this neither reflects the people of Nice or himself. Football fans from around the globe have condemned the Frenchman's shocking comments. However, he has denied the allegations and says he will take legal action. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories,